Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Qi Guo and Yi Yuan. This is a game from Chinese Women Chess Championship 2016. Qi Guo had white pieces and she started with c4, English opening, c5. Is it going to be a symmetrical variation? Knight to c3, knight to c6, g3 g6 symmetrical english bishop to g2 bishop to g7 should i explain variation no i just keep going i'll just keep going e3 e6 knight from g to e2 knight from g to e7 castling copying d4 black to move with black pieces decided to stop copycatting. She played c takes on d4. It would be interesting to see how the game would develop if black continued copycatting. Let's have a look. d5. Please note, this is not the most comprehensive line. This is just a fun line. c takes on d5, c takes on d4. D takes on c6, D takes on c3, C takes on b7, C takes on b2, Bishop takes on b2, Bishop takes on b7, Bishop takes on g7, Bishop takes on g2, Bishop takes on f8, Bishop takes on f1, Bishop takes on e7, Bishop takes on e2, Bishop takes queen, Bishop takes queen, Rook takes bishop, Rook takes rook, Rook takes rook check. What is the conclusion from this copycatting exercise? Hmm? Okay, let's go back to our game. In the game we have c takes on d4, e takes on d4, d5, c takes on d5, knight takes on d5, queen to b3, knight takes on d4, Knight takes on d4, bishop takes on d4, black is a pawn up. Bishop to h6 was played, attacking the rook. Bishop to g7. One interesting line goes like this. Knight takes on c3. That is saving a pawn. Bishop takes on f8. Knight to e2 check, king to h1, queen takes bishop, queen to c4, forking two pieces, e5, queen takes knight. Is this variation good for black? Well, e1 didn't like this variation, so she played bishop to g7. Bishop takes bishop, king takes bishop, white to move. This is a very interesting moment of the game. White is about to capture the knight and to win a pawn back. But how would you capture? With the knight or with the bishop? Hmm? Chi Gu captured with bishop. That is a good choice. E takes on d5, knight takes on d5. The knight, white knight, will be much stronger piece than black light square bishop. Black to move, queen to a5 was played, discouraging queen to c3 check. Queen to f3 was played, bishop to f5, b4 attacking the queen, queen to d8, perhaps queen to a6 should have been considered. Because now after queen to d8, white is gaining time with rook from f to d1, aligning the rook with black queen and black queen b going to a safer spot. We have queen to g5. h4, attacking the poor queen again. 
queen to g4 intending to exchange queens queen to c3 check you can see now that black has a problem on dark squares huh? king to h6 was played if king goes to g8 then the best move is what is the best move Checkmate on e7. So we have a king to h6, rook to d4, attacking black queen again, queen to e2, rook to e1, attacking the queen. There is a big difference in the activity of the pieces. Black is not using her rooks. Queen takes on a2. Black is a pawn up. Rook to d2, attacking the queen again. Queen to a4. Black queen is catching her breath. That is a good thing for black. But bad thing. Black has a problem on the king's side. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces. Hmm? Perhaps queen to e3 check and then after king goes to g7 queen to d4 would be harassing black king. Looks like a good plan. Chi Guo play the move and Yi Yuan resigned immediately after that move. The move is g4. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Bishop takes pawn. Queen to e3 check. If king goes to h5, then queen to g5 check. Mate. And if king goes to g7, then queen to d4 check, forking the king and the bishop after king to h6, white has a choice to win a bishop or to try to checkmate black king with queen to f4 and so on. Or perhaps both, first win the bishop and then try to give checkmate. What did you learn from this game? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.